Hey there, this is Eric, and today I'm gonna to give you a tour of a Walt Disney Animation desk. This one. These desks were originally designed by a guy named Kem Weber in the 1930s and 40s for Disney. Now, Kem has this amazing story about basically how he came to America, got stuck here, uh, and found himself working for Walt Disney. And if you're interested in learning more about that part of the story, stick around to the end of the video. I got this desk last fall, and while I am not an animator, uh, I am an artist, so I use it pretty often to create new pieces of art. First up, this is not an original Ken Weber desk. At some point, Disney worked with a Canadian company uh, to create more desks based on those original designs, and this is one of those. It was used at the Disney Studios in the 1980s, 1990s, and I'm pretty sure it was used by a woman named Elsa, but I'm still trying to track her down to find out if it was in fact her desk. So there were many different combinations of these desks that you could use depending on what your job was at Disney. This desk has the shelf unit for the top and then the standard desk for the bottom. You'll also notice that the feet are pretty narrow, which is great because this desk is insanely heavy. I mean, ridiculously heavy. So it's good to have this minimal point of contact between the lower desk and the floor underneath. And it's also great if you need to run cables around or anything like that. In the middle of the desk is what we all love about them, which is this angled work surface with the circular disc right in the center. And the idea was pretty straightforward. You basically put a sheet of paper on the disc using the little pegs that were already attached. Uh, you turn on the backlight and then you draw your first frame of your animation. And when you're done with that, you put another sheet right over the top of that and you could see through from that first drawing to draw your second frame. And you keep working that way until you had several frames done. And then when you're done, you could kind of flip through all the frames at once by sticking your fingers in between the pages and doing this kind of motion thing. I am not good at that, I cannot do it. The disc can be rotated all the way around, which is great. And then that backlight is just a simple fluorescent tube. Here's the original power cord. It still works, although some people have looked at it and said, you might wanna you know, change it out for something a little bit more safe, but I just can't bring myself to do that. So for now, I'll just plug it in when I'm using it and unplug it when I'm done. The desks are super functional. The top drawer on each side has a sturdy area for placing supplies. And this one actually has some original pencil shaving still underneath. So funny story about these desks. Uh, this handle right here was known to be an excellent bottle opener. Now I have not tried it for this purpose myself yet, but I'm pretty sure it would work great. Hey, quick break here. If you're enjoying this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up below so more people can see this video. Now back to the tour. The second set of drawers on both sides are just standard drawers, but the third set on both sides is what makes the desk really unique. On the left, when you open it up, you have these sectional dividers where you could store some original artwork. Here I'm using it to store some sketchbooks and some records. Now that right drawer is my favorite drawer in the entire desk. Uh, when you open it up, you have these little sectional dividers as well, but then on the left, you have three additional drawers as well as another storage area. The only downside to these desks, like I mentioned, is they are extremely heavy. Uh, it took two of us just to push around the lower section on a wheeled dolly without the top part on. So uh, if you're looking to get one of these and you have a spot in mind where you wanna place it in your house, be sure that's the place you wanna have it at because once you set it down, you will not wanna move it. So how do you find one of these desks? That's the really difficult part. I met somebody in Orlando last year that had a couple for sale and that's how I came across mine. I've heard that Disney will allow their employees to keep their desks when they leave the company, although I'm not sure if they're given them or if they have to pay for them. I'm gonna link below to a Facebook group that's completely dedicated to these desks, and occasionally you will see a desk for sale there, but most of these desks are in private collections, so you could check you know, Disney auction sites, or I'd also recommend reaching out to cast members in either California or Florida, just to see if they have any resources that might be able to help you track down one of these desks. That being said, expect to spend several thousand dollars on one of these desks or more. Uh, it's gonna depend on the configuration, so what the top unit is and what the bottom unit is, as well as the overall condition of the desk. And if you're looking to get an original Ken Weber desk from the 1930s or 40s, uh, those desks at auction easily go for 20, 30, 40 thousand dollars or more. Yeah. Now on the subject of Kem Weber and his amazing desk and furniture designs, I'd really recommend you check out this book called Kem Weber Mid-Century Furniture Designs for the Disney Studios. It really is a de facto book when it comes to these desks and I'm gonna put a link to that below. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, I would appreciate a like below or consider subscribing. And feel free to forward this video on to your friend that's like a super big Disney fan. Thanks so much.